John, it goes in the books. It's a 32-point win, but the uh, score a little misleading, especially at halftime. This was a slugfest between two teams that were just matching each other score for score. Yeah, it's not, not what a, a head coach that uh, <laughs> claims to be a defensive guy wants to see. But uh, you know, they got a punt return for a touchdown. They had two big plays that led to uh, a touchdown and a field goal. And so there were seven points or, or 17 points in the first half that, that should have been a little tougher but weren't. Well, let's talk about the punt return. You and I talked last week about Dean Holloman and his uh, abilities and how you were able to kick the ball away from him last year. And were you surprised to see the ball go to him and then bring it all the way back against you? Well, he was pinned inside the numbers. He was he was between the numbers and the sideline, so we kicked it where we needed to. We had three guys literally touch him, mm-hmm. uh, but nobody grabbed cloth. And he's an explosive guy, and and, uh, and you know there's some guys on a punt team that aren't going to tackle anybody like that. You know, your your fat guys in front of the sh- that are the shield. So uh, disappointed. But uh, it could have been a it could have been a, a two yard return is what it should have been. Yeah, he made a great run and, and certainly uh, did uh, did his part there. Uh, special teams wise, we'll talk about the positive in a minute. But again, another missed extra point, and uh, I, I know you don't like these special teams issues when they crop up. Well, we've been so good uh, through the years, and, and the start of the season we were so good, and uh, much of of football is confidence, and, and uh, if Chase. Uh, is confident he's going to nail all of his kicks. Uh, you know, when he misses something, he's got to be able to get his mind back. He can't think about the last week, all, all those types of things. So um, I believe in him. He had a great day of kicking yesterday. Uh, I think he's going to come back in, in uh, these last four games and really, really be special. I expect that. But on the positive, Kay Johnson really got you off to a great start. And he had a great day touching the ball just three times, but enough to make him the newcomer of the week. And that opening kickoff setting you up with a touchdown. He, he really gives you another weapon now, doesn't he, John? Yeah, Kate is a special player. You know, he's not a starter. He's a, 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 our starter on kickoff return, but that was a huge play at the start. They squib it. Uh, we're not ready for that because he's kicking into the wind. We think it's going to be more like a lob. And he handles it. We, 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 we number people off. Block him and, and and he runs it down to like the twenty five. So a huge play at the. I mean, the first play of the game gets you going, and then his he had another long run and a touchdown and just uh, he's he's a special player and only to get better. I mean, he's a young guy. He's a Richard freshman. When you look at what your defense did in the second half, how much of it was adjustments and how much of it was this guys making plays in the second half? Because you really stymied them. You got them to turn over it on downs. You forced three punts. You picked off a pass. I mean, certainly a different story than what you saw in the first half. Well, I think the biggest thing uh, was the was the fourth down play. Mm-hmm. I mean, not only do you give your ball the ball back to your offense, but you leave the field thinking you're better than you were the play before, just because of the momentum that you gained. So that was huge. Really, what we did, Jeff, is we dumbed it down some. Hmm. We, we 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 ran less defense and let our guys, like you said, make plays or just do their job. And that's that's always the best thing as a, as a defense. Second half on offense, boy, no complaints there. Four straight touchdown drives to start the half. Good to see Dallas Goddard healthy again. You can certainly tell when Dallas is, is near 100%. Yeah, Dallas had a good game. Taron had a tremendous game. Yeah. You know, 75% and over 300, uh, over 300 yards. I mean, yeah, we averaged 22 yards a catch uh, completion. So um, big plays were a huge part of this game for us. That's not the norm in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Mm-hmm. You better be able to march the field. So, But, uh, yeah, it's good to have Dallas back and, and, and back full speed, I should say. Confidence is great, and obviously getting that confidence back is certainly what you need heading into this brutal final stretch of the season. But the thing we got to talk about, unfortunately, is injuries, and you guys are really, really up against it at this point in terms of the walking wounded. Yeah, we're beat up. Uh, we're going to be minus uh, uh, probably three starters for this Western game. Uh, but that's life. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we have always uh, taken, the philosophy we've taken is when you're on the field, you, you have a chance to make a difference. And we, don't, we, we don't ever go, woe is we or me or whatever. Uh, go out there and make plays. Believe in your players. Players believe in themselves. And, uh, and that's all you can ask. And, and uh, I think it's the right approach. Let's talk about the trip to Macomb on Saturday. And the number that just jumps off the page at you about this Western Illinois team is plus 12 on turnovers. Yeah, they they play with a lot of energy, uh, offensively, defensively, and and that leads to I think uh, just being really confident and 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 being aggressive to the ball. And uh, we have to take care of the ball out there. Uh, you know, we we we've had some fumbles, we've thrown some interceptions. We just need to be smart with the ball. Uh, we think we 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 have a good game plan against their defense. So 
and then we need to take the ball away. You know, and that's part of our job also. They're number three against the run, and a lot of that starts with Brett Taylor. And I know we've talked over the years, John. You really, really think highly of Brett Taylor, don't you? Yeah, I think the world of him. I, I love guys that, that are blue-collar, hard-nosed uh, football players. That's the way the game was designed, and he is that by definition. Uh, he, he's been uh, this is the fourth year starting and, and just been all over the field and making plays. When he hits you, you know you don't have to open, you don't have to look at his number. You know who hits you because he's a physical player. Speaking of those turnovers, uh, Kalen Saunders has forced three fumbles this year. He's, he's got five and a half sacks. Justin Fitzpatrick, uh, Tyron Holloway, they've got seven picks between them, and and this is a group that's also picked off a couple of passes that are turning for for touchdowns as well. And so they've got a lot of different guys that are forcing those turnovers. Yeah, yeah. The 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 lineman, he's an explosive guy. He you know he impacts the sacks the. All those things, but I tell you what, just getting pressure on quarterbacks makes the, the DB's job easier and allows some balls to be off on throws. Uh, they're a good defense; they're solid all around, and and uh, we're going to have to be really good with some, like you said, some injuries and be smart. Maybe have to throw a little shorter balls once in a while, uh, but we'll be ready. We're looking forward to it. Offensively, Sean McGuire is really taking good care of the ball this year. He's completing sixty-six percent of his passes. And have been very good through the air. Fifteen touchdown passes, only four interceptions. So he's making a lot of good decisions. He makes good decisions. He's got great receivers. Uh, this receiving core, especially their top guys, is is really really special. Uh, but it starts with well, it really starts with their own line. They have four seniors and a junior. And when you have that, you have a quarterback that's more comfortable. And you have receivers that they're going to get the ball thrown to them on time. And so, uh, really, really a solid offense. You mentioned those receivers, John, and Jalen Acklin certainly is one of the best around, but this is a group that they lost their top two receivers from last year. So to see the success they're having says a lot for that program. It's amazing. It's amazing that uh, the young man, uh, Jalen, had, I think, eight catches last year, and he's got 52 already mm-hmm. this year. So uh, they, they understand offense. Uh, their quarterback understands coverages and so on. And, and credit to Coach Fisher. It's only his second year. And he's got one of the top teams in America. And so he's doing a great job down there. They mentioned that offensive line, and they're opening up a lot of holes. You've got Norris and McShane both, between the two of them, averaging over 100 yards a game. And these guys have put in the end zone eight times, and so they're getting the running game involved as well. They are. And, and uh, different backs. You know, the McShane kid will, will cut on a dime and cross your face and make you look like, a, like you're, you're a non-athlete. <laughs> and the other young man just runs hard, uh, more of a fullback uh, in, in a tailback's body. Uh, which makes it hard because you, you really have to approach the two differently when you're tackling them. Uh, but again, they're committed. Their their whole line is 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 good. They're committed to being able to run the ball, so we need to be ready to defend everything. And another test for your special teams. This is the club that is the number one team in the Missouri Valley in punt returns. And there's McShane again, a different kind of runner than what you saw from Holloway, uh, Hallman last week. But like you said, a guy that certainly is getting it done in the punt return game. Yeah, they're good. They're solid. Uh, you know they. They must practice four hours a day because they do so much stuff <laughs> on offense. Uh, you know, and they got a great special team. We have trouble getting our practice in two hours, and that would obviously be illegal if they're doing that. But uh, <laughs> they're solid and everything. And, again, credit to their staff and their players. So here we are, John, now with, with a month or so to go in the season, and, and it's exactly what you'd expect from the Missouri Valley. You've seen teams up. You've seen teams down. You see all these teams ranked. Anybody can beat anybody. Going on the road is tough. I mean, it's once again – absolutely a grind and you guys have a very formidable schedule ahead of you well we've got one game at a time jeff and and uh and uh west illinois is a really good football team we're going to be we're going to need to play uh, air free uh smart uh excited uh type of football but back to the missouri valley this is a huge week when you look at the matchup mm-hmm. in the in the missouri valley i mean there's other ones coming down the road but this one has really four games that they're going to determine some things early here uh, we're looking forward to being part of that. And, and, and ideally, we can come out with a win and, and be sitting in a, in a pretty good spot. 